Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what time is it now? Yes! And yes, this is the DW World Equity Time. And from now onwards, every Monday morning, 9 a.m., 10 minutes is all the time you need to spend with us. And we call this the OTOP series. And OTOP stands for one target, one purpose. From now on, every Monday morning, we are going to share with you one very important instrument. And uh, that could be an FX market, it could be a commodity market, it could be a stock, and it could be an ETF that comes from any exchanges around the world. And what you're going to do is, number one, like us. Number two, share. Share, share, share. Share with your friends and the loved one. And most importantly, subscribe to us. All right. And from there, every Monday, just log on to us, watch us and catch us and build your way to the happiness. Otop is right here waiting for you. Stay tuned and I will be right back. Welcome back to Otop 43 for the week 31st May year 2021 and we are crossing into the month of June, which is coming to the mid year. All right, in, a, in this episode of uh, Auto 43, DW World Equity Time, we're going to show you again, well, one term, the instrument that you may like to look at it for this week. All right, before we go on, let us um, do a revision quickly on what happened on Friday and what's the stock that we talk about the counter we talked about last week and what it is doing now all right so on friday we look at the uh, dow jones closing um, uh, the market closed at 34,529 with a gains of 64 points okay not too high uh, as far as s p and nasdaq is uh, um, pretty unchanged all right and uh, then again gold prices um, again uh, close with a very strong sentiment which is above 1,900 US dollars per ounce and uh, definitely uh, we are looking at the potential of um, metals and precious metals climbing in the month of June especially with the potential weakening of uh, US dollars especially on last week well the um, US Congress uh, is still talking and negotiating about issuing a new u.s stimulus and that will potentially uh, weaken the u.s dollar strength with and and that is going to put the commodity prices especially the metal prices on our brand again well okay coming back to um what um, we did last week all right first of all let's take a look at the dow jones chart if we look at this okay Dow Jones will only regain back to a very strong um, uptrend, which is a bullish sentiment that's provided if the market crosses above 35,000 benchmark. Okay, that is here. Otherwise, if the market trades sideways in the month of June, okay, in this current region, anywhere from uh, 33,500 up to 35,000 in the range of uh, uh, about 2,500 points okay and uh, most likely we are not seeing uh, the market going anywhere okay last week we talked about this stock potentially okay let's take a look at this 9633 no full spring okay which is um, a very good stock and it has actually begun to run up right after we release our OTOP on Monday morning 9am on last week and uh, in fact we are looking uh, at this counter potentially uh, to get a more strength and the prices will be likely to firm up more in the coming weeks okay so for those people who have actually got this uh, counter in hand all right stay on to it and uh, we hope that it's going to bring you more profits in the month of june okay let's take a look what we want to talk about this week all right I want to be honest on Friday I have scanned through more than a hundred counters ranging from four markets including FX and well to be very honest I really could not find a potential or very strong sentiment instrument to share with you on this week the auto 43 but then again not to worry well, out of all the uncertainties, we are still able to capture one uh, instrument that we're going to share with you. 
Okay, let's take a look at the uh, US dollar. Okay, US dollar here. If you look at a US dollar trend, potentially the market is um, going to turn up. Okay, in fact, it has bounced up above 90 and trading sideways in this region. All right, so in time to come, over about one or two months, we are still looking at US dollar index to be weakening. All right, so when dollar weakens, let's prepare to get involved with precious metals or commercial metals or commodity prices okay so pursuant to this um, forecast that we have I want you to take a look at this uh, very potential instrument okay which is a mining ETF listed in NYSE and the symbol is XME all right XME and it stands for S&P metals and mining ETF all right as a look earlier all right if dollar is going to weaken probably in one or two weeks time uh, over the month of June okay we are actually looking at XME which is a combination of all the mining industries to increase the profit and this is going to be a good counter all right gradually over one or two weeks that you could be looking at okay take a look at this if we are looking at the uh, month chart here all right well, it has been uh, coming up for many months, many months, okay, since April last year, and it has never um, gone back into a correction before. And the reason why is because uh, all these, uh, this ETF comprises of all companies, and these companies have been making profits from month to month, all right? It is not a, a commodity instrument that will go on a whipsaw with correction and new highs but these are all the companies that have been accumulating their profits from month to month over last year okay so we are still looking at xme etf prices to continue moving up in months to come all right if you look at this uh, xme here for the month chart let's uh, move back to the uh, day chart all right uh, on the short term we are looking at strong resistance in the region of 47 dollars per unit all right and of course downside the uh, stop loss point will be anywhere near to 44 dollars but we are not uh, looking at a very high probability for the market to move back down okay below 44 so stay tuned and continue to, to watch this uh, x and the counter because the, the day anytime in june or perhaps it could be even this week once we see gold prices breaking up okay especially above um, um, 1930 okay 1930 US dollars per ounce in the in the gold prices and most likely we are going to see copper prices moving up and followed by the S&P metals and mining ETF which is exactly this XME that we are talking about okay so on the day chart of course the momentum has been moving up for a while and let's take a look if we could find something on the four hour chart all right, if we look at the four hour chart, uh, yes, it does. Okay, um, just a couple of candlesticks back on uh, Friday or even Thursday, we have seen a crossing up of the EMA 420 that is coincidental with the momentum. All right, so, well, our summary on this XME is it is uh, pretty firm and there's no reason to break below 44, but if it does, you got to remove all your long positions. Other than that, I think it's a good try attempt to uh, start picking up some XME and it may not be immediate but anytime in the first or second week of June we're gonna see this XME moving higher and breaking up above 47 US dollars and potentially where is the top well I want to be honest with you I don't know where is the top because uh, there are a lot of potential on the top side this is a weak chart okay weak chart if it breaks above 47 we are looking at the next top anywhere like uh, 59 to 60 dollars well i think that's a pretty handsome potential profit if uh, you want to start planning for that and of course above 60 ultimately we are still looking at 76 or to 80 dollars and eventually to the top and of course that will all depends on in the next coming six to 12 months uh, how low a year's dollar go down to and are we going to see a new high in the gold and silver prices? Alright, stay tuned, but over the short to midterm, XME is definitely 
one good instrument and a choice that you would like to look at it. All right, and there's a DW World. Equity time for OTOP 43. Thank you for staying with us and share this video out to all the people around you. Okay, we hope you like it. And as usual, we promise to come back on every Monday morning, 9 a.m. Singapore time and stay tuned with us.